Namaste, beautiful souls. I am happy that I can share now some things that are on my heart with you. So many students of mine ask me my point of view, of tantric view, you know, I am uh, sharing the tantric idea all over Europe to the situation the world is now in. I don't want to say many things, just some things which I think that are very important. In Tantra, energy follows always our attention. And where we put our focus on, our energy is going. And where we put our attention is growing into our life. And if we put our attention on a virus, then the virus will grow in our world and in our lives. And that is what the medias are doing now. They really draw our attention every day, every minute, every hour to something we don't want. So let's free ourselves and let's decide to put our attention to something we want, we desire and we wish with all our heart. Let's put our intention on joy. Let's put our intention on health. Let's trust again our body, our immune system. We have a perfect immune system. Every one of, of us uh, surely has been, or me too, many times ill. We had virus, we had bacteria, we had other diseases, and we get healthy again. When I cut my finger and I hurt my finger and the blood is running, I look at my finger and I can really say how, how my finger is healing in no time. This is the action of the highest intelligence that was creating us and keeping us on life. Let's trust again this highest intelligence and let's support our healing, our healing power in our body by a healthy lifestyle. This is the first point. Let's focus on, on health. Let's be grateful for the gifts that the universe, the all, the quantum field gives us every day, every hour, every minute. We just have to go out in nature and see the blossoming, thriving nature. And our heart fills with gratefulness. Gratefulness is the key for a blissful life. Gratefulness draws everything in life, what we wish. So don't let us focus on illness, fear, panic. Let us be grateful for being healthy, for having immune system, for 
the wonderful gifts that the universe gives us every day, let's be grateful for the love that we are able to feel in our hearts. And there is some other point that I would like to share with you. Love, being together, the loving being together, embracement, when we embrace each other, when we touch each other, this means health. We need this. When a baby, for example, is not touched, it is rightly fed, it has its sleep, it has a, a good, good um, environment, everything is clean, but the baby is not touched, it will die. Loving touch is one of the most important things in our life. We need this to stay healthy. We need this to stay happy because we are born to be touched from the beginning of our life. So please don't let anyone separate us from the divine loving touch we need all so desperately. Of course we take care. Of course we will take care. Uh, and we will keep distance to people we don't know. But people we know, our friends, people we trust that they are responsible for our, um, for our health and their health. Let's embrace them. Let's kiss them. Let's love them. Let's touch them. And let them touch us in a divine and loving, in a divine and loving um, way. This is boosting up our immune system as nothing else. And especially with tantricas, we know how to touch. And here I want to stop uh, for now and inviting you as soon as possible to get together again and to practice and to cultivate the divine way of tantric touch. So dear ones, thank you for the time that you were listening and let's really feel in this moment how wonderful it will be when we will be able again to be together hold each other uh, connect our hearts so that all our hearts will again get one pulsation and be together and live this tantric uh, uh, this tantric life in a loving community again. Namaste.